husband and wife to declare it now all to forever hold your peace. I think we need a mic for them now. Hey, Daoud, is there any reason as to why you should not be wedded to Rebecca? None whatsoever. Rebecca, is there a reason as to why you should not be wedded to Daoud? None whatsoever. Daoud and Rebecca, are your parents here? Yes. Okay. Parents, Mama Daoud, parents to Rebecca, where are you? Shall we celebrate them and welcome them to the front? Celebrate them as they come. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. Praise the Lord. Uh, we thank God for Mama Daoud, uh, Mama and Baba Rebecca. Thank you for bringing them up in the fear of the Lord. And today, you have brought them before God and man to be declared husband and wife, even as we pray God's blessing upon them. Amen. So, I'll start with Mama Daoud. Welcome your daughter in a minute also. Rebecca, I'm truly grateful to God for this moment, and I welcome you, our family. Thank you very much. Uh, we just want to say a blessing to you, both of you, Rebecca and Daudi. And uh, we pray that the Lord will bless you in your marriage, in your walk with him, and that you'll experience his goodness for the days that he has given you. So God bless you. And Daudi, you are welcome to our home. Uh, you know home, so now you are a son of the home. Thank you. So, Rebecca and Dawood, we really thank God for you. Dawood, you are welcome. I have a son. <laughs> and we just want to thank God that he has brought you together. We pray that you live in peace and love. Man, let's appreciate. We are going to do something here. My hand will be here in the middle. Mama Daoud will hold Daoud's hand. And uh, Rebecca's parents, you can see it. And my hand will be here. Your work is to celebrate until I hold the two hands. Start bringing it.
Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for these parents and this couple. Thank you, Lord, that they have blessed their children. They have wished them well as they start life as a husband and wife. Lord, may you bless them. Bless other members of their families who are yet to get married. As you have done for these two, Lord, you are able. There are also parents in our midst with sons and daughters who are yet to marry. Lord, you are faithful. As you have done for these two families, you will do it for them. Bless these families, dear Father. In the holy blessing of God, of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And uh, parents, we can now take our seats back. They are very safe. Uh, Dawood, will you take Rebecca to be your wife, be united with her in this holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her? Will you cherish her, honor, comfort, and protect her? Forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as both of you shall live. Yes, I do. Rebecca, will you take Daoud to be your husband, be united with him in this holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him? Will you cherish him? Honor him, comfort, and protect him. Forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I will. A step behind, step behind, step behind. Now that, that's that's a safe distance. Thank you. It is it is wonderful. This couple is now about to take their marriage vows. Let's minimize movement. In fact, if you want to go out, go out now. No, you will not. Please allow them to take. They are vows. Cameramen, I want you to take your positions. I don't want you to interrupt the vows with the movement. Cameramen Mukosawa, you are okay? Please avoid our movement. I, Daudi Matuka, take you, Rebecca Mitch Obengo, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for us, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to honor in the Lord, till we are separated by death. According to God's holy law, and this is my solemn vow. Amen. I, Rebecca Mitch Obengo, take you, Daudi Machuka, to be my husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, 
in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to honor in the Lord till we are separated by death, according to God's holy law. And this is my solemn vow. Amen. Uh, Daud and Rebecca, do you have rings? Do you have them? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's have the rings. A ring is a, a circle, a symbol of love that does not cease. As Daud and Rebecca start using these rings from today, may these rings always remind them of their promise and of their vow. Let us bless these rings. Almighty God, bless these rings. As these your servants, Daudi and Rebecca, now start using them. These rings always remind them of their love. We receive these rings, dedicate them to you for their use. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Daud, now pick your bride's ring. Very well. Rebecca, give the finger. Rebecca, I give you this ring, the symbol of our marriage, the help of God. I love you, honor you, all that I am and all that I have all the days of my life, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Daudi, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. With the help of God, I shall love you, honor you, with all that I am, and all that I have, all the days of my life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now that Daudi and Rebecca have exchanged their promises, have been blessed by their parents, have exchanged their vows, and they have exchanged their rings, I, Reverend Joseph Kamau, a true witness of the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as an ordained minister of the gospel of Christ, as a licensed marriage officer of the Kenya government, I now declare you, Rebecca and Daudi, husband and wife. It is well, it is well. Daud. Would you like to kiss the bride? Go ahead. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello. Weddings are very good. Sunday in the wedding, where the boy this is the girl, and the father to the girl 
celebrate. Thank you, thank you. The first thing they are going to do as a husband and wife is to lead us in a short word of prayer. Uh, they will be guided. Thank you. One. Daoud, hey, Daoud, you are leaving your wife. Shall we pray? O oh God our Father and the author of Mary, we rejoice on this our wedding day. Do to each other, help us to stay safely guarding all the solemn vows we have taken today. Never should the memories of this day grow dim with each passing day. Progressing through life with its many hurdles, May Many self of love be, be our banner, seeking, seeking ever to promote the other, rejoicing in our strength and bearing with each other's weaknesses. In all our days together, may we draw strength and comfort from you and from each other. Guide us as we begin this new life. We know not what lies ahead. We are your refuge. <laughs> you are our refuge. <laughs> And underneath are your everlasting arms. Bless our marriage, Lord. Grant us many happy years together. Till we come to the country. Amen. May the Lord bless your marriage. May He bless you with children. May he give you joy and happiness. May love and forgiveness be the banner in your marriage. You'll be actively involved in the life. May he bless the work of God. May he bless your hearts and thoughts. May your fields yield a burden. Christ be the head of your home to bless your going out. Amen. Amen. Now, ask Daoud, lead his wife to her seat together with your bridal party. Heart Christ. Hey, bridal party, you may also take your seats. Uh, let us appreciate them. It has been well. We take this opportunity to welcome you all to All Saints Cathedral. Feel at home. Feel in your father's house. This is the right place to be, even to celebrate with these, our beloved, whom we have joined today as they begin this life. Continuously pray for them, continuously support them, and don't allow the devil to come. Separate the two that God has put together. Amen? Now, in the interest of time, we will move to the ministry of the word, and uh, we are going to receive our first reading. Is it proud? And do you know how couples can be proud? 
when you remind your husband again and again, if, if not for the suit I bought you, if not for that suit I bought you, you would be walking naked. That's pride. Reminding your wife, I have taken you to school. I have done this and that for you. I mean, you have done it, but why were you doing it? Rebecca and Daudi, may the Lord help you to keep pride at a bay. Look for opportunities to serve one another, not opportunities to, te to tear each other. Daudi, always remember from today, Mwanaume ni kujituma. Hello, ni kujituma. May you be up and about serving your family. Rebecca, from today, always remember the prudent wife of Proverbs 31 who works round the clock for the good of the family. May you be that wife. Love, love, love each other. If couples in this country were to love and cherish each other, the divorce rate would go down. But unfortunately, the divorce rate is scribing by day because the glue that ought to join couples together is no longer effective. Bearing with each other, seeing each other as a friend and not a business partner, understanding our weaknesses as husbands and wives and understanding our strengths and asking how can I help you to make it better not asking what kind of a material were you made of kind words they bring positive compliments Daudi there is this man who told his wife, I have never understood why God created you so beautiful, yet very stupid. And the wife said to the husband, God made me beautiful so that you could love me. But he also created me stupid so that I can bear with your childishness. Please offer each other positive compliments. Therefore, in my conclusion, Daudi, should the food burn tonight as you prepare dinner, Daudi, just eat and say nothing. But should it burn tomorrow, eat, but in passing, just say, but the food has burnt. If it burns the third day, Daudi, express yourself. Ask, what can we do? How can I help you so that we don't burn food every day? Which areas do you think I should participate in to make your quick cooking good? Daudi, if she burns the food the fourth day, 
men nisalimieni kwa mkono if you are here and you are man wave at me men do you want to hear the fourth day can i go ahead daud do you want to hear the fourth day very good if she burns the food the fourth day daud learn to live with her that way what you can change change what you can't change may the grace be sufficient in the name of god the father god the son god the holy spirit amen amen bona asifiwe we want to worship the lord with our gifts this is a big day for this family and there is that gift even as they were inviting you to come to their wedding i'm sure there is that gift god put in your hands to come and thank him with as we celebrate his faithfulness to this couple we'll give in kind but we'll also give electronically uh, if we give through the phone the account is right there on the screen 30 30 36 account offertory but we'll also give in cash and the bag will be brought here we will bring our gifts to the front and that will speed the process karibu uh william and we will be given as a him as we as we give we will we will we'll just bring our gifts uh to the front
Praise the Lord. Uh, thank you for these gifts. And this couple also has a thanksgiving to God. And they will present this giving that you have given to God. Let us pray even as we receive it from their hands. Thank you, Lord, for these gifts your servants have given to your work. We pray, dear Father, you will bless the labor of our hands. We will not lack. May the hands of Rebecca and Daudi be blessed of you in all that they do for their family, for the church, for the community. May they be blessed. We receive these gifts in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We want to sign the certificate, bride or party, uh, follow the couple to the desk.
Let us continue in prayer. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all humankind, giver of all spiritual grace and author of everlasting life. May you now send your blessings upon Daudi and Rebecca, whom we now bless in your name. That as Isaac and Rebecca lived faithfully together, so Daoud and Rebecca may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant made between them. May ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your laws through Jesus Christ our Lord. Daudi and Rebecca, may God bless you and keep you. May he look upon you and fill you with all blessings that spring from his gracious favor that you may have a wonderful life together and in the world to come share in the life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Together we join in the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord and walks in the confine of his way. You will eat of the fruit of your labors. Happy shall you be, and all shall go well with you. Your wife within your house shall be as a fruitful vine. Your children around your table like the fresh shoots of olive. Behold, thou shalt the man be blessed who lives in the fear of the Lord. May the Lord so bless you from Zion, Daudi, and Rebecca, that you see Jerusalem in prosperity all the days of your life. May you see your children's children, and in your home let there be peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We now want to issue this couple with their marriage certificate. So, so Daudi and Rebecca receive this certificate. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rebecca, we are waiting for you to keep the certificate so that we continue. Keep it where you want. If you want the best man to go with it. <laughs> okay. from the office of the provost receive this bible and I know you have a bible but this one is forever to remind you 
your wedding took place at All Saints Cathedral, and we love you. Thank you. Can we now have the Master of Ceremony join us, please? MC, be very fast, and I know you are fast. Use that mic, and be very fast. All right. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Harusi tunayo ama hatuna. Harusi tunayo ama hatuna. Wapi shangwe na vigele gele tafadhali? First, let me just say, it's such a great privilege to be the MC of this particular wedding. So when Rebecca called me, I taught Rebecca in Bible school. I was one of the lecturers. I also um, was with her at camp, Word of Life camp. And so when she called and said she's getting married, first I was like, what? What do you mean you're getting married? You know, and then the second question was, with who? Okay, then I met Dawdi, and oh my goodness, I just said these two are meant for each other. So let's give them a round of applause once again. So right after this, uh, we are going to do photos um, outside, you know, the cathedral, okay? Who are, who are going to do these photos? First, we're going to start um, with the clergy, okay? We're going to start with the clergy, then followed by the parents, both the parents to Rebecca and Dowdy, and then the siblings, and then um, uncles and aunties, then cousins, then friends and colleagues, okay? And if you're here, kindly just be around the proximity because we want to do the photos as fast as possible. So please, Usika and Bali, I know some of us want to catch up, but for the sake of doing this very quick, we want to do, I want you to be around, you know, the cathedral, outside the cathedral so that we can do the photos. Then after that, the couples are requesting, they want to do a photo with all of us. So there's a building called the CTC building. When you just exit this cathedral, once we are done with the photos, then we take a left, then take another left. Up the stairs, huge, beautiful building. Right up there, the stairs, that's where we are going to do photos with everyone. Sawa, sawa. So please make sure you are there for those photos. They will really, really appreciate. After that, we'll be moving to the reception at the CTC building, fourth floor. Ambia Jirani, fourth floor. Fifth floor, okay? They are making the lift for us, okay? It, it is gonna, it's going to be there. So please make sure you are there, or we have a plethora. I'm from Nyanza. I had to just put in a word there, okay? Of coastal cuisines just made for you, so please do not miss that. We'll be happy to dine with you. Asante Nisana, looking forward to have such a great day. Let's give it up for the amazing bridal team. Thank you. All right, I uh, kindly request, uh, let me uh, pray for the meal this beautiful afternoon. God, we are grateful for your faithfulness that indeed um, we are going to celebrate this couple, our friends, uh, Rebecca and Daudi, over a meal. And so God, we pray even as we do that in the next few minutes, we pray that Lord, you will help us fellowship together and enjoy your goodness even as we glorify you. We bless you and we exalt you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, MC. We have come to the tail end of our service. It has been a beautiful afternoon. Our order of recession, the bridal party, followed by the clergy, and then the rest of us feel free to step out once the bridal party is out. Shall we all rise on our feet? Brothers and sisters, now and for the very first time, introducing to you Mr. and Mrs. Daudi.
Ladies and gentlemen, a round of, of applause for them once again as they prepare to dance their way out. 30 minutes of marriage experience down the line. Woo! There we go. Uh, we are working on their song. So just give us um, a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, wapi makofi shango na vigelegele kwa utafadhali.